consider second equation of equilibrium. So what we could do now is we could take the first equation and I could say that T A B is T B C and you have cosine 30 divided by cosine 60. So we're going to substitute that here and I could take T B C out of the whole equation you get cosine 30 cosine 60 that's one of this then we have sine 60 then you have negative sine 30 and this is going to equal to 4 9.81 and from that equation you should be able to find the value for TBC and that comes out to be roughly 39.2 newtons. Now once you have TBC you go back to that equation and you solve for TAB and that should come out to be roughly 68 newtons. So <coughs> using the equations at point B you found two unknowns you found tensions in cable AB and you found tensions in cable BC now when I come to the free body diagram at point C we already know this so you immediately make the substitution and that's 39.2 Newton so that becomes known now this is unknown and this is unknown so you have two unknowns and all you need is another two equations so this time we write the sum of the force in the x direction and we set this to 0 for point C and you got the same thing you take this point drop perpendicular that's the x component and that's going to be the y component and then you take this point, you drop a perpendicular, you get this as x and y, yes. This is not, yeah, negative sine 30, yeah. So this is coming right from this equation. So you, you took TBC out, and what you're left with is this. Alright, so I'm going to write the components again. So this time you have TBC, which is really 39.2, and then x component is cosine 30 going into the opposite direction. You place a negative plus TCD cosine 30, that's positive component, and this should go to zero and basically this cancels out and it gives you TCD as 39.2 Newton then we're going to sum the force in the y direction and that should go to zero so <coughs> you're looking at the component here that's TBC sine 30 then you have another component which is TCD sine 30 then you have a force F going down this negative F and that should go to zero so out of this you know this one here is 39.2 sine 30 and TCD is the same as 39.2 sine 30 and that equals F or F would simply be 39.2 Newton. So we found every force in that problem that said there was just a slight difference where you need to consider two points before you can find all the forces. Now we're going to look at one more example.